Good morning. morning. Welcome to worship. Good to have you with us this morning. A couple announcements uh, as we begin. Uh, We celebrated the the 25th Racine Lutheran High School Gala last night. Uh, uh, Just a joyful event. Uh, Thanks to those who were able to join us and especially those uh, who were able to uh, produce that event. Uh, It was a really enjoyable evening. The Alliance Women's uh, Clinic uh, has uh, once again requested uh, if we would uh, collect uh, new diaper bags and new baby blankets. Uh, And so uh, you will see in uh, the fellowship area a table for those. We're going to be collecting them uh, through March uh, and then hopefully uh, deliver another uh, nice inventory to them. Uh, Apparently the collection uh, that we took up uh, initially Uh, They uh, communicated with us not too long ago that they had given away uh, the last of those diaper bags. And so uh, we have an opportunity uh, to participate with them again. Join us in that uh, if you are able. Uh, This uh, Lenten season, as part of uh, our uh, Lenten meals, as you may have noted in the bulletin, uh, one of them will be a traditional uh, potluck supper. And uh, to sign up for that, you will see uh, a colorful display uh, on the Welcome Center, so uh, take a look at that on your way. Let us know that if you can uh, contribute to, uh, uh, to that uh, Wednesday evening uh, meal. Also, you'll see in your bulletin uh, a uh, uh, sign-up uh, form for Easter flowers. Uh, appreciate if you can help us decorate uh, once again this year. Uh, in our prayers uh, this morning, we um, remember Cheryl Berdeman, uh, who is recovering from uh, a broken wrist. Uh, and the family of uh, Donald Davis, that's a, he was the father of Amy Davis, uh, was called home uh, last week. Uh, so we begin our worship uh, this morning with our opening hymn. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, God, who is faithful and just, will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Let us then confess our sins before God, our Father. Most merciful God, We confess that we are, by nature, sinful and unclean. We have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We justly deserve your present and eternal punishment. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. Forgive us, renew us, 
and lead us so that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your holy name. Amen. Almighty God in his mercy has given his son to die for you and for his sake forgives you all your sins. As a called and ordained servant of the word, I therefore forgive you all your sins in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We continue with the intro. The Lord has made known his salvation. He has revealed his righteousness in the sight of the nations. Let the sea roar and all that fills it, the world and those who dwell in it. Let the rivers clap their hands. Let the hills sing for joy together before the Lord, for he comes to judge the earth. He will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with equity. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord has made known his salvation. He has revealed his righteousness in the sight of the nations. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace from above and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house and for all who offer here their worship and praise, let us pray to the Lord. Help, save, comfort, and defend us, gracious Lord. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. O Lord, graciously hear the prayers of your people, that we who do justly suffer the consequence of our sin may be mercifully delivered by your goodness to the glory of your name. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. 
Please be seated. The Old Testament reading for this sixth Sunday after the Epiphany is from Deuteronomy chapter 30. See, I have set before you today life and good, death and evil. If you obey the commandments of the Lord your God that I command you today, by loving the Lord your God, by walking in his ways and by keeping his commandments and his statutes and his rules, then you shall live and multiply. And the Lord your God will bless you in the land that you are entering to take possession of it. But if your heart turns away, and you will not hear, but are drawn away to worship other gods and serve them, I declare to you today that you shall surely perish. You shall not live long in the land that you are going over the Jordan to enter and possess. I call heaven and earth to witness against you today that I have set before you life and death, blessing and curse. Therefore, choose life, that you and your offspring may live, loving the Lord your God, obeying his voice and holding fast to him. For he is your life and length of days, that you may dwell in the land that, Je that the Lord swore to your fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, to give them. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We speak together the gradual for Epiphany. Praise the Lord, all nations. Extol him, all peoples. For great is his steadfast love toward us, and the faithfulness of the Lord endures forever. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. The epistle is from St. Paul's first letter to the Corinthians, chapter 3. But I, brothers, could not address you as spiritual people, but as people of the flesh, as infants in Christ. I fed you with milk, not solid food, for you were not ready for it. And even now you are not ready, for you are still of the flesh. For while there is jealousy and strife among you, are you not of the flesh and behaving only in a human way? When one says, I follow Paul, and another, I follow Apollos, are you not merely being merely human? What then is Apollos? What is Paul? Servants through whom you believed, as the Lord assigned to each. I planted, Apollos watered, but God gave the growth. So neither he who plants nor he who waters is anything, but only God who gives the growth. He who plants and he who waters are one, and each will receive his wages according to his labor. For we are God's fellow workers. You are God's built field. God's building. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We stand in honor of the Holy Gospel. Alleluia, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. Alleluia, alleluia. The Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew, the fifth chapter. Jesus said, You have heard that it was said of old, You shall not murder, and whoever murders will be liable to judgment. But I say to you, that everyone who is angry with his brother will be liable to judgment. Whoever insults his brother will be liable to the council, and whoever says, You fool, will be liable to the hell of fire. So if you are offering your gift at the altar, and there remember that your brother has something against you, leave your gift there before the altar and go. First, be reconciled to your brother, and then come and offer your gift. Come to terms quickly with your accuser while you are going with him to court, lest your accuser hand you over to the judge and the judge to the guard and you be put in prison. Truly I say to you, you will never get out until you have paid the last penny. You have heard that it was said, you shall not commit adultery. But I say to you that everyone who looks at a woman with lustful intent has already committed adultery with her in his heart. If your right eye causes you to sin, tear it out and throw it away. For it is better that you lose one of your members than that your whole body be thrown into hell. And if your right hand causes you to sin, cut it off and throw it away. For it is better that you lose one of your members than your whole body go into hell. 
It was also said, whoever divorces his wife, let him give, him give her a certificate of divorce. But I say to you that everyone who divorces his wife except on the ground of sexual immorality makes her commit adultery. And whoever marries a divorced woman commits adultery. Again, you have heard, it, you have heard that it was said to those of old, you shall not swear falsely, but shall perform to the Lord what you have sworn. But I say to you, do not take an oath at all, either by heaven, for it is the throne of God, or by the earth, for it is his footstool, or by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. And do not take an oath by your own head, for you cannot make one hair white or black. Let what you say simply be yes or no. Any more than this comes from evil. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Please be seated for the hymn. Life lived one heartbeat at a time all around me, one fragile breath after another in a world sometimes hostile to it. Each soul created for the Creator, honored, enjoyed, celebrated for His good pleasure. Often though, we forget we are all from the same dust, turning our backs on the need of our fellow humans brushed aside, neglected, forgotten, dismissed as too much to bear. Yet the one who made us bore it all for every one of our sakes, for those who are defenseless, for those who hold the most power. The Lord's decree to us has never changed. Protect life, 
nourish it. Pour in all the grace you have, extend all the mercy you can, sacrifice as you must, reach long and hard for every hand. Whether it is a life, whether it carries a life, sanctity means that we give all the love back to the God who holds each soul in his hand by caring for his creation as long as we have breath.
Amen. We join our voices together uh, to confess the faith of the Christian Church uh, in the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the holy Christian church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray for the whole church of God in Christ Jesus and all people according to their needs. Almighty God, the seas roar and the rivers clap their hands because you come to judge the earth. Receive our thanks that you declare us righteous by water and the word and grant that we would live in that baptismal grace until you come in glory. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, you make us your children in baptism and desire that we grow and mature in the faith. Bless pastors, teachers, parents, and all who teach your word, and give us a constant desire to hear and obey it. Lord, in your mercy. Lord of all, you judge the peoples in righteousness and equity. Give wisdom to our nation's authorities. Preserve us from unjust division, and cause us to love one another. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our Lord our God, you are our life and length of days. Sustain and strengthen those who suffer sickness and affliction and those recovering. We pray this day for Cheryl Berdeman, Nancy Vogel, for Kristen Baker, Dylan Malkowski, Judy Scheffner, Pastor Bob Wolf, Helen Keller, Marilyn Valencourt, David Howe, Keith Mertens. Krista Parker, Ken and Clint Fick, for Kim Weber, Lola Hargrove, Marty Berger, John Pollock, Myrna Hoover, Ron Benson, Luca and Micah Flick, 
and Tyler Zelko. And we pray also, Lord, that you would comfort those who mourn, especially the family of Donald Davis, with the promise of everlasting life in Christ. Lord, in your mercy. Heavenly Father, by your Spirit, you breathed life into Adam and made him a living being. Convince us by your word and spirit of the value of all human life. Where life is fostered and preserved, let us give thanks. Where life is vulnerable or abused, give us courage. Where life is fragile and debilitated, give us compassion. And where life is injured and dying, point us in hope to the resurrection where he who does all things well will make all things new. Lord, in your mercy. Graciously receive our prayers. Deliver and preserve us. For to you alone we give all glory, honor, and worship, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift up Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly good, right, and salutary that we should at all times and in all places give thanks to you, Holy Lord, Almighty Father, everlasting God, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Therefore, with angels and archangels and all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify your glorious name evermore, praising you and saying, Remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ, on the night when he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to the disciples and said, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. This do in remembrance of me. In the same way also he took the cup after supper. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink of it, all of you. This cup is the New Testament in my blood, which is shed for you for the forgiveness of sins. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. And may the peace of our Lord be with you always.
We give thanks to you, Almighty God, that you have refreshed us through this salutary gift. And we implore you that of your mercy you would strengthen us through the same, in faith toward you and in fervent love toward one another. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you his peace. Amen.